Hello, and welcome to today's webinar on Introduction to Dream to Travel Festival, which will be taking place from June 22nd to July 17th. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody who's joined us for today's webinar. Um, first, let me introduce myself. My name is Paul Brancan. I'm the Director of Communications and External Affairs at the Pacific Asia Travel Association. Uh, with me uh, is my colleague the, from uh, the Director of Marketing, Ms. Achiri Masudi. And remotely, uh, just across the way here, uh, is PADA CEO, Dr. Mario Hardy. Uh, before we go into, uh, just into the webinar, just have a couple things to, to just let you know about. Okay, so uh, as you, for those of you unfamiliar with uh, Zoom, uh, just some basic functions that you should be aware of. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a toolbar. Uh, you can use the chat function to uh, say hello, introduce yourself, uh, chat with other, other, other participants and, um, and, and, and whatnot. Um, but if you have any questions that you would like us to answer, uh, please use the Q&A function. You'll see at the bottom of your screen as well. Please do not submit any questions using the chat function. I know some of you have raised your hands up. If it's a question, please do submit it in the Q&A. If it's a particular comment, uh, feel free to use the chat function function, um, but uh, there's no need to raise your hand. Uh, we have just way too many participants to allow uh, other people to speak. Uh, everyone will just be talking on top of each other. Um, so with that, um, I would now like to turn over to Dr. Hardy, uh, just to say a few words about uh, the Dream to Travel Festival and why PADA is organizing this event. So Mario, over to you. Thank you, Paul. Good afternoon or good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, great pleasure for, for me to be here with you today. Dream to travel. Why, why are we created this event? We've created it because along the last couple of weeks and months, many of us have actually been uh, staying at home, working from home, or working remotely. And uh, many of us actually are missing our friends from the industry. Many of us wanted to reconnect with the industry. And we all know that at the moment, at least for a foreseeable future, face-to-face -face meetings are actually not really possible uh, for many of us, especially for those of us who are overseas and, and traveling is actually still restricted. We wanted to create an opportunity for the industry to re-engage, reconnect, but in a social environment and have a bit of fun at the same time. Yes, we will have some serious discussions during the festival, but for most part, it will be actually about getting inspired about traveling again, getting to know the destinations that will be featured, getting to know some of the products that are actually offered out there in terms of travel. Uh, yes, for those of you who wish to do business during that, uh, that event, you can, and there will be possibilities for you to interact and do business as well. But for most part, we wanted to actually give you an opportunity to connect virtually and engage and have a bit of fun at the same time. So I will actually let my colleague uh, Achara to actually go to the program itself and explain in more details how this festival will work. It is one month. You haven't actually dreamed. It is well one month from June 22nd until July 17. There will be activities on a daily basis, Monday to Friday. On weekends, you can still engage with the showrooms if you wish or leave messages. Um, and it is like attending a festival. For those of you who have ever attended either a music festival or a food festival <clears throat> or any other type of festivals, you know that you have a pre-planned schedule and different activities at different times. So you can choose to attend, of course, all of them. We, we hope you can. If not, you can choose to attend certain activities at certain times during the day. For those of you who are in different time zones, those activities will be recorded and you can actually be able to watch them at a later stage. But as I said, I will let the expert, Achara, to go to the uh, program in more details and explain how we're going to move forward. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Mario. Um, and uh, just to let everyone know that we will be, uh, if you guys have a, want a copy of the recording, we're happy to send it to you so you can share it with your colleagues. Uh, if you want, uh, want any resources like the PowerPoint, or, or anything else from us to let us know. And with that, I will uh, pass it over to my colleague, Achara. Achara, the stage is all yours. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mario. Uh, my name is Achara, and I'm the marketing director for PADA. I'm gonna share with you the 
overview of the festival and also take you through some of the components of the festival because it is something that is rather new for pretty much everyone in the industry this um, yeah this this type of this virtual event and this type of virtual event as well so um i'm just going to show you the first slide here so you've all been to the the website and um you know there's a join the community here and so the whole concept of the festival is that it is a festival so when you join the community you get an attendee pass and you know imagine yourself at a festival like a physical festival when you get a pass you go in there and a festival allows you to experience different um different types of uh experiences in the festival. So imagine if you're going to a music festival, you have the jazz stage, you have the world music stage, you have the pop stage, the rock stage. So in the same, um, you know, using that analogy, you transpose that to the virtual event and the Dream to Travel Festival, once you get a pass, you will be able to explore the different elements of the festival in the same way that you would get a pass to visit a real festival. You go to zone A, zone B, zone C, you get a different taste of the festival there. So what I'm going to do today is take you through the different components of the festival. So first of all, before we go into the details, I just want to give you an overview of the components as we envision it at PADA. So um, the first component of the festival is, as Mari mentioned, this is, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a festival, but there's also the opportunity for you to learn. So you'll be able to hear updates from NTOs, you'll be able to um, gain new insights. And um, there's like, so we have a forum session and a knowledge session and I, my, like my colleague Paul will be able to tell you in more detail about this, this component. Um, the second component is connect. So like any good event, physical or otherwise, we allow you to connect with, uh, you know, make the right connections you are able to connect with the right people. Um, and for this component, we have a digital showroom, which also serves as a networking lounge. So I'll show you in a bit how it works. It's not just a static showroom, but it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a showroom that allows you to kind of chat with other attendees, not just with exhibitors, but as a visitor, if you sign up as a visitor, you'll also be able to chat with other visitors as well. So it's a, like a light networking lounge there. The third component is experience. So this is what we're trying to bring online. I know it's, it's, it's going to feel different from a physical event because we, you know, we wouldn't do this if we weren't in the situation where we had to do this, but we all know that we've been stuck at home for two months already. And so we're trying to bring in a dose of um, wanderlust into your homes and also give a chance for people to show socialize, you know, safely with social distancing. So in this third component, we have live online experiences. Um, we have virtual networking um, opportunities, and we also have a, a chance for you to, you know, win some good prizes from our members um, and sponsors. We have games and giveaways where you can take part in and interact and engage with um, the, the host, the sponsors. Um, under not underlying and connecting all of these elements, we have our mobile app. So the mobile app is important and um, because it serves as a community hub and an announcement. And through that mobile app, you will be able to access all the links and all the recordings of the entire festival. So when you register, when you join the community, you're asked to download a mobile app, um, please download it because it's actually really useful. You'll, you'll if you, um, in another session, uh, we'll have a festival guide during the first day of the, the festival, and I'll be able to show you how to use the mobile app so you can save the sessions that you're interested in so you don't miss out on the sessions that you want to actually, actually see because it's a festival and it's four weeks and there's like the program is, is really getting fully packed at, at we, as we speak right now. So, um, so We'll take you through the, um, sorry, so I think, um, so now, now that I've given you the overview, we're going to take you through the first element of the festival, which is the forums and the knowledge sessions, where you can have the opportunity to learn and um, get a front seat, get a, like, um, get the, get your chance to hear 
from the latest updates from the NTOs. Can we go to this? The web, the... Yeah, the web. Okay. So I'm going to take you to the through the website because we have all the information there. It's under forums. So here you go. Um, Paul. Yeah, so I'll talk a bit about the forums. So on every Tuesday over the over the four weeks period, we'll be having the Dream to Travel forums. Uh, each week of the festival is tied to a theme. As you see here, the, for, the forum follows a different theme each week. Uh, it incorporates el human elements tied to our annual theme this year of Partnerships for Tomorrow. The first week is Trust, followed by Courage, Well-Being, and Infinite Possibilities. Uh, each of the forums will... Uh, There'll be a panel discussion that will be moderated by the BBC presenter. Uh, we're very happy to announce that for the first two weeks, Sharon Jit Lel, uh, the BBC presenter uh, from uh, BBC World News presenter, will be, has been confirmed for the first two weeks, and she'll be moderating those panel discussions on trust and courage. Um, the speakers for those forums will be uh, announced in the coming few days, uh, hopefully within uh, the next week or two. And uh, that's just a bit about the, the Dream to Travel forms. They're very short. They're about an hour and a half at the most. Um, of course, each we're, uh, we're hoping that each head of the NTO will open each form and give us an update about their destinations. That said, then we'll go into uh, each of the panel discussions focusing on the different themes of the week. I also want to talk a little bit about uh, the knowledge sessions that I'll be having later on in the week. So every Thursday, We'll be also having uh, a one-hour knowledge session, uh, just a webinar. Um, so this will, we are in the process of developing those in conjunction, uh, in partnership with our NTO uh, destination partners. Um, but I will let you know that uh, on the fourth week, uh, the week of infinite possibilities, on that Thursday, that uh, knowledge session will be organized in partnership with BBC, and it will focus on the future of travel. Um, there will be other, uh, those are just the two sort of uh, knowledge sessions and, and trial and forums that will be held during the, over the four weeks. And uh, in addition to that, uh, I know my colleague uh, from uh, Alethea, who's uh, our YTP ambassador, will also have some youth sessions. So for uh, any of you, any, any youth who have joined the webinar or joining the events, they can join the, the, the youth uh, sessions that uh, are being uh, organized. We have some fireside chats that have been confirmed. So, so the youth can sit down with uh, the first one I think is confirmed is former Secretary uh, General of the UNWTO, Mr. Talib Rifai, will sit down with, uh, with the youth and, and do a, a fireside chat session, as well as uh, Ben Liao, the chairman of the Forte Hotel Group. Uh, more programs on the youth side will be announced shortly as well, and more updates about the forums and knowledge sessions will be uh, available once they've been confirmed. And that's a bit all about the forums and sessions. And I'll pass this back over to Achara. Thank you, Paul. That already sounds very interesting <laughs> too. Um, um, and that's, uh, that's, a, that's a pretty big highlight session for ours. I really would recommend that you attend this. Um, the, the, the forums are really recommended and so are the knowledge sessions as well and the youth sessions. So it's, it's a lot. Um, but um, just rest assured that we don't have any concurrent sessions, so you won't be asked to choose either or um, uh, which session to attend. We, we try to make sure that we have the opportunity to, you, you have the opportunity to attend all the sessions if, if that's what you want. So, so that was the uh, first component of the festival, which is the learn component. Um, the next component I'm gonna talk about is the, 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 the network component, the connect component or the trade component. So um, I'm gonna take the opportunity to show you an example of the digital showroom. And please note that this is, this is just an example. The current showroom is currently under development. I'll have, it, have you look at, you can have a, like a preview of what it is right now. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm a visitor, so it says visiting right here. Um, we have our social distancing logo, which is the official um, social distancing, para on social distancing right now. <laughs> um, we have two exhibitors who have joined us, but um, you don't really see their profiles because they haven't, We've just created their profile for them, so but this is an idea of what it, what what the what um, the exhibitor floor would look like. Um, just want to show you the networking lounge that I was talking about. We have um, the ability to. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna move this one. Yeah. So 
when I mentioned networking lounge, um, the when you log on to Fee's floor, you can log on to if you're not exhibiting, you can log on as a visitor. And as a visitor, you can also see and chat with other visitors. So um, you can go into this group, which is the um, all attendees group, you'll be able to see um, one second. You'll be able to view all the in this group, we're going to put all the attendees there. So you'll be able to see all everyone who is, you know, who is either a visitor or an exhibitor at, Feet, at the, the digital showroom, which is Feet's Floor. We partnered with um, Feet's Floor, which is a company in, Copen in Copenhagen, to offer you this feature. And um, so just to give you an example, you can, for example, chat with, um, say, I have a colleague. I want to chat with Muhammad, I could chat with Muhammad here. And this function allows you to make um, audio calls and video calls and group audio calls and group video calls as well. So you really have an environment and we encourage you to leverage it, to use it to as much as possible to make whatever connections and networking um, you want to make um, through the digital showroom. This is available to you 24 seven across the entire four weeks of the festival from June 22nd to July 17th. So you don't have to rush. We don't, we're not giving you like four hours. You can do this at your own pace. You can chat and reply at your own place, at your own pace, which is actually the beauty of a digital experience um, when you think about it. So that's, uh, that's a networking lounge, that's a digital lounge. Just to give you an example of how it would look if there was actually exhibitors here, this is an example of um, a, a showroom on Feeds floor. And this is an example of a profile that you would, um, of an exhibitor profile that you would see. You would be able to view their company um, description. Um, you would also to be able to view their products and services specifically that they want to highlight. Uh, just to note that this one, um, with the current digital showroom at the Dream to Travel Festival, I know most of most of our members are familiar with um, buyer and seller matching. Just to note that this is just a showroom. We don't have buyer and seller pre-matched appointments and matching um, feature with this festival. So it's um, we can guarantee we don't we don't provide business contracting um, appointments, but we do provide brand awareness and business promotion and um, networking opportunities here. And um, just uh, uh, beyond the digital showroom, I just wanted to give you a peek of the, um, what we also have an app and as an exhibitor, you have the opportunity to showcase your business on the app as well. Um, this is what it would look like on the web app that we have, um, uh, that, that we also provide as part of the user experience of a festival. There's, a, there's like a logo and a company profile. You can put your website and videos. And you can also, if you have brochures, I know a lot of you have nice brochures. Um, you can also upload the brochures there for the visitors to, to download. So that's the, um, that is the connect and the business component of the festival. Okay. Um, get the screen out. <laughs> it's in the way. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'll, if you have any questions, as, as Paul mentioned, please feed them into Q into the Q and A feature under uh, um, under your screen um, that, that Zoom has there, and we can address them one by one afterwards. Um, so the last component is the um, the experiences, and in these experiences, I'll just take you through. There are three components of the experiences, three different types of experiences that we're offering you. The first one that I'll take you through is the live experience. And as you know, we've been, again, stuck at home all the time. So we're trying to really bring back the spirit of travel, try to get you like put, um, you know, travel experiences into your own home. So we're working with our members and our um, destination partners to bring alive the local culture of the destinations through one hour sessions that are live and hosted by um, someone at the local destination who will take you through an experience. Maybe it's related to food. Maybe it's related to cooking classes. They'll show you how to make cooking classes and perhaps you know, give you an opportunity to buy uh, 
you know, on, let's take a look at what the what ingredients go through your favorite dish. I mean, we're in Thailand, so everyone wants to know how to make pad thai, for example. Mm -hmm. We also have live guided tours. These are really um, we have we, we we're, we're working on some really exciting tours right now that is still confidential, but they are quite interesting because I don't think uh, the the opportunity to experience those tours would be quite rare in in physical life. So. Yeah, um, I can't really go into <laughs> to the details right now, but just telling you that I mean, I'm excited to, to check it out. Well, now you made me excited because <laughs> <laughs> first time I'm hearing about it. So. <laughs> um, tasting sessions. Unfortunately, we can't really taste anything online, but um, we've recommended that our partners provide you with discounts. If you want to buy, say, a bottle of wine or um, some dried fruit or candies, this is where you can get that there. Uh, these are just ideas. Okay, so um, another idea would be virtual museum, live music performances, and also very interesting. If you're into like the type of dark tourism, you want to hear about ghosts and you know, like spirits. That's also something that we're working with one of our destination partners with, and um, yeah, so it's to be confirmed. Um, so that's those are what we call live experiences. And just as a bit of a disclaimer, these are just examples of the ideas. We we're not trying to oversell this. We're just trying to be transparent that we are working with our members and our partners to bring these sessions to life so that you can enjoy them at the festival. Okay, so those are live experiences. Then we have the, um, the, so the virtual networking sessions. Um, when you go to a physical event, you have, you know, you get the chance to have serendipitous meetings and spontaneous conversations when you go to the, you know, especially during coffee breaks, right, or during lunch, lunchtime. And we're trying to bring that to the online, um, digital online world. So we've had, throughout the festival, we'll be sprinkling these virtual coffee break sessions or um, virtual happy hour sessions and virtual lunch club. We'll be basing these, um, these sessions and the, the concept of these sessions on on Asia time, so we'll be, our official time zone is GMT plus seven, which is ICT time. So, you know, um, I know there's a time zone issue, so perhaps a virtual happy hour for someone may be a breakfast hour for someone. <laughs> so um, it doesn't, you know, this doesn't really matter. But as long as the whole point of these sessions is for you to meet with each other, and we're gonna use, um, we know that we can't really network in large groups, and the best networking happen, sessions happen in smaller groups. So we'll use Zoom. Um, we'll, we'll put you in random small breakout sessions on Zoom so that you have the opportunity to actually get to know some of the people who are also attendees of the festival. Okay, and the, and the last component would be the games and giveaways. Yeah, if you're one of those people who think that you're always, you know, you can always win some chances, you have, this is for you. Um, we have kind of three types of games that I'll share with you. All of them will be sponsored by a sponsor, one of our members or our partners, and all of them will be themed, uh, you know, will be travel themed. So we'll have an online pub quiz, so we'll be testing your facts and knowledge about, uh, about travel. So. Do you know your airport names? Do you know your airport um, abbreviations? How much do you know about a destination? You know, this is where we'll test if you are really the travel buff that you say that you are. And we have a virtual bingo. So, you know, the regular bingo, bingo games that you get at Las Vegas or a casino is the number is based, right? But with the bingo games at the festivals, this is an opportunity for our members to um, or the, the sponsors. So instead of the numbers, you'll be seeing the, a description or an element of that destination or of, that, um, of the, the travel product. So for example, bingo could be Bangkok and, and one of the boxes there could be the tuk-tuk rides, could be a golden temple, it could be um, banana roti or whatever it is that describes or brings back memories of that destination. And again, um, we'll be, this online bingo, if you win it, you'll get a prize. And the last one is I Spy. Um, this is a game that we'll be using your eyes. So basically, we'll be, we, we may show you a video and then ask um, afterwards so what, you know, what, you remember, what do you remember from that video? Or it can be even spot the difference, you know, and then 
yeah, so whoever actually like wins or is able to answer that game first wins the prize as well. So this is just something light to balance off and to give you a bit of um, respite from um, the social distancing that we've been going through for the past two months and also bring back the memories of travel as we move towards, uh, move on the path towards recovery. So yeah, um, those are the three components. How do I get back to the PowerPoint? So with the last component I'm gonna show you is the community hub. All right, let's just wait for Paul to help me out here. Thank you. That's okay. So I, I just wanted to share with you that um, uh, I actually prepared, uh, so I just wanna share with you the, 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 the app as well, the mobile app. So just so you're wondering like, where does the app fit in all this? Um, I would really recommend you to download the app, mostly because you, it's a way of actually bookmarking, bookmarking the, the exhibitors, the sellers, the, the, the people who you're interested to talk to, bookmarking the sessions that you're interested in. Um, yeah, it, it's really useful as a way to navigate the festival throughout the four weeks instead of, you know, having to jot down the, or like, Put it in your put the sessions in your calendar so the, the app will be a place where you have everything in there and you can also network with other attendees one-on-one -on -one through private messages um and um and and interact through a social feed as well and, yeah right. so that's, that's good all right um i guess we should just mention this because i probably didn't mention this from the beginning so the event is free for anyone to attend the event um so very easy to register for the event. You just go to Pada, the Pada Dream to Travel, sorry, to dream to travel .pada .org. Uh, On that, just go down and register as an attendee. To get actual showcase, uh, Pada members can actually, uh, can actually um, exhibit at the showcase for free. It's complimentary for Pada members. We do have uh, early bird discount for non-members that's uh, available to the end of this week. Uh, I think it's 99 USD uh, to showcase your uh, product or services for Pata non-members. For Pata members, it is free. Yeah, so all the all the links for the, each of the different sessions will be in the in the app. So look at the schedule. So you see on the schedule on Tuesday, there's a form. You'll see the link. You click on that to join the forum. If it's Wednesday and there's a giveaway or there's a live experience. Uh, you just click on that link and then you join that particular uh, experience, that session. We, hopefully, if we have everything in advance, you'll see the full schedule in mm -hmm. advance. So then you can then click in and register beforehand, add it to your Google Calendar so you don't forget, oh, I have a live experience I want to join on, you know, on July 2nd or something, right? Mm -hmm. So, so for, for those who want to download the app, it's really easy. You just go to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. Look, search for Pata Events. It is the same events app that we use for all of our events. Register. Yes, you have to register. Um, and once you download it, then you register. Um, you register. Oh, sorry. To actually access the event. Once you download the app, but to actually access the event in the app, you have to register yourself on, uh, on our But the app is... You just, for the app itself, you just download the app from either from either store. Again, hello, yes, yeah. Um, just download it from either store. Uh, it's just part of events, and then to access that particular event, you have to register yourself first on the Dream to Travel website. That's right. Yes, um, but like I said for for those of you who've been to a part of events in the past, it is the same app. So all you need to do then is just, if you already have the app on your phone, just register yourself on the Dream to Travel website. So let's, um, I don't think there's anything else to add. So I think we can just jump to some of these questions. So you have anything else to add? Uh, with regards to the schedule, if you go, uh, where we're trying to confirm um, the sessions as much as <coughs> possible, we are in the process of adding confirmed sessions to the schedule in the app. You also see it in the calendar on the website as well. It's coming soon. Um, but, uh, I, I, so, so just to, to make sure you understand that we'll, we'll, you won't see the full, full calendar as yet We're we're, we're going to add the sessions as we confirm it. Yes. You know, and, and actually leads us to our first question here. So the, uh, I think Sheena's here is asking if you'll see the profile of attendees for the actual, like, 
attendees, if you download the app, you will see their profile. So, you know, when you, when you set up your profile in the app, make sure to put as much information about yourself on your, on your profile. So then people can reach out to you and say, oh, I really want to learn mm -hmm. more about Bhutan or, or that particular hotel. So, so yeah, just, um, just, just download the app, set up your profile in, in the app. And then uh, once all, once all the people are, have done that, you'll see a list of, of all the attendees as well. But also I guess on the virtual hangout, mm -hmm. you'll see the attendees as well. And then you can click mm -hmm. on them and you'll see uh, some information about them. The I virtual hangout. Yeah. Um, coffee breaks. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I think we've answered that. Um, what will the function of the network? Can you exp explain in detail the networking lounge? Okay. So, um, so the networking lounge is it's just a, a title that we use to call the um, networking features of the digital showroom. So I don't know if you've seen the presentation of the feeds, the the showroom, the digital showroom. You see that there's a chat app. So that's that chat app area is what we call the networking lounge and you can see all the um, visitor profiles of the digital showroom there. Um, so what Paul explained was the profiles of the attendees on the app. Besides the app, you can also check out the profiles of the attendees who are on the digital showroom. So that's what the networking lounge is. And in the digital showroom, you can um, you can video or audio call or text message any visitor or any exhibitor that you want. Okay, hope that explains it. Um, I, think I just see someone in chat and Dell confirmed that Potter members can have e booth free of charge. Uh, Raul, yes, uh, Potter members can uh, have a digital showroom that is complimentary as a Potter member. Um, so I hope to answer that your question. Uh, so. Uh, that's done. How do I join the virtual happy hour? So as I said, um, you just go to the schedule, you'll see the link for the virtual happy hour. Uh, you just click on it. Uh, you, can, you can just register yourself. Um, how does it work once you're there? Um, you'll join, I guess you can explain that, the actual session itself. Okay, so the virtual happy hour is, um, you'll, you'll join the, a large, so first of all, we'll put you, we'll put everyone for about uh, five minutes on hold so that we know that everyone's joining at the same time. Then everyone enters, imagine yourself entering a really big meeting room. And then from there, uh, we'll do a short five minute orientation and we'll break everyone into small groups of approximately 10 people. And then from there we'll have, and then, from, and then you have 20 minutes in that breakout room to talk, among each other to like, converse casually. We also have like icebreaker questions and we may have a theme for each of these breaks so that, you know, it, to kind of um, break the ice and help people um, have conversations. But, and then after 20 minutes, we go back into the live, into the large, large meeting group again. And then that's, that's, that's the virtual networking session. You can join the happy hour. You would need to register as an attendee pass for the festival and then download the app to access the link to the virtual hour, happy hour that you're interested to join. Uh, so the Pata Events app, yes, it's the Pata Events app on the, mm -hmm. um, on the Apple Store or Google Play Store. Um, you'll see a, a list of our various events um, that are there. But as I said, you need to register for the Dream to Travel event first to be able to access that particular event in the Pata Events app. Um, so yes, please, uh, Peggy or Peg, uh, yes, please just, uh, I think that is the right app. So, uh, so the next question is, who's able to sponsor the games? Um, Pata members are able to sponsor the games. So the uh, Pata members are invited to participate or we call it, we, we, the floor is yours, Pata member. So you are able to showcase your destination or your product either through a live experience or through um, uh, games and giveaway sections. So, so the, with the games and giveaways, we'll work with you to determine what type of game is best suited for your product, and then we'll book you a slot on the festival. Oh, um, we probably need to let like, you know for Pata members who want to participate, it is a first come, first serve. Um, uh, the, the, the participation is based on first come, first serve, and the slots are filling up quite fast as well right now. Okay. Uh, so, 
So just, just to play one more with the app here, there's another question here. The app is the Pada Events app. So go to the Apple Store, Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and search Pada Events. And download that app. Um, in, once you click into the app, you will see uh, a, you will see all of our Pada events. It's not just the one particular Dream to Travel event. You'll see uh, past events, uh, future events, current events. Um, but you'll see Dream to Travel, the Dream to Travel event. Then to able to access that particular event, the Dream to Travel event, you need to register yourself on the Dream to Travel website. Mm -hmm. uh, just go to dreamtotravel.pada.org. Go to, the, go to the bottom, you'll see just register, click in, register. Give it 15 minutes or, or so. Uh, it does, it's not automatic, so once you register, you can't just uh, actually enter it. It just takes a few minutes for it to just sync with the app. So do give it a few minutes. Um, so that is that regarding the app. Uh, if there's any questions, feel free to, if you have any problems with it, feel free to email us at communications at pada.org. We'll, we'll, we'll be happy to uh, help you get, uh, either download the app or get access to the app or, or any other problems you might have um, with any of the app or registration process. Um, so, um, so to register for the Dream to Travel URL, it's fairly easy. You'll see it at the bottom of the screen. I'll share the screen. You'll see HTTP colon backslash backslash or just easily type in Dream to Travel dot pada dot org uh, pada events is the app okay, uh, i'll type it in here i'll type here pada events. um i just type and there is the there's the link Oh, Mr. Bombong has added the link. Thank you <laughs> uh, for putting the link to the website. And Pada Events is the name of the app. Uh, so what is the deadline to submit your participation? As an exhibitor, is there a deadline? Um, as an exhibitor, there is no deadline. Um, there's a, a two day, two to three days that we, we don't allow exhibitors to update or make changes to the exhibitor. That's June, 20, um, June 16th. No, June 17, 16, 17, and 18th will be when we will be actually uh, working on the back end to develop the showroom. Um, but there is really no deadline to submit your presentation. Today. We do recommend that, um, so for the exhibitors, you will get the most views on the first day of the festival, which is June 22nd. So we recommend that you prepare your exhibitor profile, your e-booth, as much as possible, because that's when you will be able to make the first impression to the, all the visitors. Well, I'm sure be able to, to edit or make changes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, if, if you if you want to submit your stuff now, so for your for your booth, you can go ahead and submit it now. You know, if you want to make changes later on, that's we can you can do that as well. But um, you know, the sooner the better, because uh, then you then you actually can see what digital showcase looks like. Um, and then if you want to make changes afterwards before the actual event starts, then it's a better opportunity for you to do that as opposed to waiting to last minute to yeah. set it all up and then the event starts and, and then you want to then uh, change it and it may be too late. So that's right. It, yeah. it's just, uh, there are a lot of features that, um, that is provided by di the digital showroom from Feast Floor, our, our partner. So you might want to start early to familiarize yourself and be able to leverage those features and maximize those features um, to your benefit. So, so if you want to exhibit, submit uh, as soon as possible. And uh, the charges for yeah. exhibiting. Uh, yes, the, for non-members and chapter members, there is only one price. Uh, it's, it's complimentary for PADA members, and PADA members only get a free showcase. But all non-members, and that would include chapter members as well, there is, a, there is a fee. As I said, there is an early bird rate. Um, it ends at the end of this week. If you would like to know more, you can email us at communications at pada.org or you can email our events team who will be handling all showcases at events at pada.org. Um, how about this last question? Is there a limit to the number of attendees for the coffee, coffee breaks or hangouts? Um, sorry, um, they're, they're, at the moment we are able to handle um, 
500, <laughs> 500 total meeting attendees. Um, but we will look into, we'll, we'll look into the, um, I mean, we'll, 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 we'll see if we require an additional attendees, um, what do you call it? Package. Yes. For, for the yeah. So I, I think as the trials explained earlier today that, you know, this is uh, something new. We want to do something different. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure over the past two months, uh, many of you have just joined either a webinar or, or just uh, some of the trade virtual trade shows happening out. We want to do something a bit different. Uh, didn't want to do something the same old, same old um, as anybody else. Um, so this is a uh, sort of uh, an experiment on our end. So we will be being flexible with things. So if, if we see that a lot of people want to jump into virtual hangouts and they become extremely popular, then we may look to uh, expand the amount of participants able to join. Uh, same thing with any of the live experiences or the forums. So we're, we're, um, we'll keep a closely eye on that. But yeah, you know, we, we want you to register and register early um, as possible so that we have, that, we have the idea of how people will be participating. So hopefully that answers your question. Uh, second question here, access the digital showroom anytime yes. throughout the event. Yes, uh, over the four week period, uh, you can access the showrooms at any time, 24 uh, seven, Saturdays and Sundays. The thing is, as you can see on the, on the, on the virtual hangout uh, networking aspect, you can see if there are people online or offline, you can still send that person a message Right. If they're offline, then they'll get the message and they'll reply back to you. If they're online, they might just be able to respond to you immediately. So, um, but overall, the showrooms are available 24/7, and um, well, we're happy that uh, you know we encourage everyone to go and and explore and look at the other products and services provided by our members and industry colleagues. Um, so, where do uh, exhibitors sign up to sponsor a game? Okay. Um, we have added a link on the website. If you go to the website, dreamtotravelthepada.org, I'll also type it here as well. Um, it is under opportunities and then PADA members. So we have a whole page dedicated to the benefits of, uh, for travel, for um, PADA members. PADA, one second, let me just type it to you so you can click there. View it. Give us a second, Mark. How's everything in Guam? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, let's see. So, the festival will go on for four weeks. Do you think visitors and exhibitors will be continuously on during the whole long period? Well, we don't expect uh, visitors and uh, exhibitors to be continuously on. It is a virtual event, and we want to pace it that way. There's no reason we, want, we need to fit everything within one to two days. So um, the answer would be no, not continuously on. But we do have, we, we're thinking of creating dedicated <coughs> time slots to promote everyone to be on the digital showroom at the same time so that there is at least um, a few hours during the day where everyone is online on the digital showroom and will be able to answer uh, messages and chats in real time. Okay. Um, yeah, but you know, the thing is also just talking about some of the, the forums and the knowledge sessions. Those will be, of course, recorded and, and, and then put on our YouTube page. We'll, we'll have those links then on the schedules uh, of that day once they pass. So, you know, we're encouraging people from all over the world to, to come in. So there, it's, it's, you know, it's going to be ebb mm -hmm. and flow of people coming in and out of the, of the festival. Um, yeah, so I mean, we're taking care of some of the time zones that uh, are happening around mm -hmm. the world and... And, but, you know, we invite, like I said, we invite everyone to, to come in and, and look around and say hello. And, and, you know, you want to update your, your showrooms, you know, feel free to do that and, and do something different each week. That's up to you. Um, but, we, you know, we're trying to encourage yeah. as much engagement as possible. And to add to that, the digital showroom allows you the, um, there's a feature on the digital showroom where you can encourage visitors to follow you. And they will be able, and so when you post news updates, so for example, a blog post or a press release or any announcement you want to make from your booth, they will see it on their feed. So, so, so that's, think about that as well, because that feature allows you as an exhibitor to keep engaging your followers throughout the, the throughout the four weeks. Okay. Uh, so this is from uh, MGTO. Uh, let's go 
the digital showrooms we can invite trades of the travel industry to exhibit their products or it'll be pure destination mm -hmm. branding no this is um the, the digital showcases are for anybody. So whether you're a destination, whether you're a hotel, uh, an airport, an, uh, an, uh, an airline, a, a tour operator, I mean, you can have a, a showcase, a digital showcase um, on our page, you know, uh, at Fleet's Floor. So this isn't just for destinations to have a page. This is for anybody in the travel industry to have, uh, to showcase their product. You know, whether you're a buyer, whether you're a seller, um, you know, you can, you can set up a digital showcase. Uh, anything you want That's to right. add to that? No. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and that answers the second question from Maria as well. This is just for destinations. It's for everybody. Um, as you can see on the slide, the, the dream to travel festival is for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's, that's why it's free for everyone. So, so yes, um, there are limitations. Yes, because we're a membership association, we're here to serve our members. So, you know, showcasing uh, your product or having a, 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 a digital showcase is for, is free for our members. You know, it, that's, the, and, 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 but I said for, for non-members and chapter members, you do have to pay, but we have an early bird rate. Um, it is available to this Friday. If you want to know more about the early bird rate, feel free to email us at communications at pata.org, or you can also email our events team at events at pata.org. And um, hopefully um, we've answered all your questions. I don't see there's anything else. I'll give you guys a few more minutes if you want to uh, ask more questions. Uh, but I think we've covered everything today. So um, you want anything to add? Any closing remarks? Oh, sorry, there's there one. Oh, sorry, there's a question. VR capability. No. No. <laughs> no, 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 we're not yet. We're, um, I think that like, the main feature is that I, I think tech is one thing that is an element of a good virtual event, but I also think a sense of community and understanding of attendees' needs are really Back again? Yes, I'm back in. Okay. Uh, calendar events and exhibition. So I said, uh, Mr. Uh, Manoj, if uh, to calendar events and exhibitions, download the app. Uh, download the app, register and yeah, register. register, download the app, access the app. There you'll see, you know, as the schedule of events gets finalized mm -hmm. over, the, over the next few days and weeks, we will, uh, those things will be populated. So it's, that's why it's extremely important for you to download the app um, and and then we'll have everything there. So that's that should be answer all of that as well. Yeah, the, the app also has a notification feature. So we, when we have uh, <coughs> we have a fuller schedule uh, confirmed, we also send you a notification so that you uh, you can you get the notification on your phone and you can check the schedule. So you don't have to keep checking it every day to see what's being updated. And we promise we won't be spending it uh, sending notifications every day. Like that's we're not uh, we're not going to be sending too many notifications. We'll send the, the, the ones that are really relevant. Yeah, yeah like, like there's prizes to give away and these are the new prizes that we have to offer and these are the new live experiences. Um, so yeah, so that is, uh, are there more questions? Oh, shoot. Uh, so technical specs of the digital content requirements. Um, well, if you email us, we can then send it to you, uh, our events team can send uh, it to you. I think the, the, the way, we, um, if you sign up as an exhibitor, we will send you um, a link to sign up as the exhibitor. And, and um, we'll also send you a list of creative assets as well. But the first thing is that to, we encourage you to sign up as an exhibitor on the website first. Yes. Um, uh, Sheena, I see you keep raising your hand. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, uh, put them in the Q&A. Or uh, if you're having trouble with that, uh, use the chat function. Um, but I do see, we do see and recognize that you have your hand, you have your hand up, but as I said, we cannot open your mic. Uh, there's just way too many um, people here to, to open everybody's mic. Uh, so Sheena, uh, if you please do send in your question or comment in the chat or Q and A function. Um, any more questions? The, the app is available already, Poonam. Um, you just, as I said, you need to register at the Dream to Travel website. Uh, once you register, 
just give it 15 minutes. Give it a little bit of time. It needs to sink. Oh, it's fast now? Uh, the other day. <laughs> you might have some... If you're having trouble right now, if you're registered and you're trying to do it right now, just give it a couple minutes. It, you will have... Uh, you will be able to access the app. But if you still, if, if over 24 hours per se, you still have problems, uh, email us and then we will uh, get you, uh, we'll figure that out and get you uh, log registered on that, on that uh, app. So um, any other questions? Guam, uh, we're excited to, uh, to, to see you there. So I see you Regina and Mark and, and, and we, uh, we look forward to seeing Guam and their digital showcase. Just uh, uh, one thing I do want to also mention, uh, just briefly, we do have sponsorship opportunities available uh, for those of you who might be interested. Uh, those who, if you are interested in, in any sponsorship opportunities, please do feel free to contact myself or, or my colleague. Again, my email is, is paul at pata.org or you can email communications at pata.org. Um, Rajesh, uh, um, have you tried? Have you have you registered yet for for the events? Remember, you need to register first on the website, and then once you register on the Dream to Travel website, then you'll be able to access the app. I think it's extremely important to to keep that in mind. Number one, first thing you need to do is register yourself into the event. You know, we have uh, hundreds of people already registered, so feel free to register on our websites. Yeah, to clarify, uh, the app is protected so that only people who register on the website as an attendee is allowed to access it. So, so you understand the logic right now. So if you're not registered on the, uh, if, you if you're not registered from dreamtotravel.pata.org, you can't access the app. Um, the digital showrooms, uh, you will not be able to access the digital showrooms on the event app. You'll see the list of exhibitors, but the actual showrooms you won't be able to see uh, on the app itself. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it's mobile friendly, right? So you'll be able yeah. to see. It's a able, desktop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you'll be able to see uh, on a desktop and and uh, and your mobile. Device. Yeah, a desktop experience would be better, but then you are able to access on a mobile device. Yeah. Okay. Rajesh, if um, so, you could just email us. Okay, yeah. Rajesh, if you if you still have trouble, just email us. Uh, and give us your screenshot of what your problem is, and we'll 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 try to address your problem directly. Uh, again, just communications at pata.org. Um, uh, feel free to send us an email for for dues. Um, not exactly sure what you're asking, but uh, in terms for our YTP members, uh, our ambassador. Uh, Lithia is in the process of uh, creating uh, many different uh, events and experiences, engagement opportunities for our YTP members. So um, please feel free to um, just contact her or, or, or follow her and, and look out for any message she might be sending. Um, yes. just, just one last note with the app. Um, the email that you use to register as an attendee needs to be the same email that you use to register for the app. So you understand that that's how we connect. That's how the app knows that you are registered. Okay. It has to be the same email. Okay, I think, uh, I think we're, we're over an hour yeah. here. So I think uh, we're good. Uh, any questions, as I said, feel free to email us. Um, this, is, uh, this is an ambitious event for us. Um, so, you know, any, any feedback from you guys is always uh, uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, Mario's yeah. back. I think Mario wants to say a few words before we close out. So um, I'll pass it back to Mario real quickly and he can say a few words for just end this all. Uh, Mario, back to you. Yep, thank you, Paul. Thank you everyone for having joined today. Uh, there's been a lot of questions regarding actually registering for the event and regarding the application. Very simple. First thing you need to do, the only thing you need to do first, you go to the website, dreamtotravelpata.org, you register. Once you register, you will receive a link and a, a link to download the app. And once you downloaded the app, you click on Dream to Travel and you'll have access. As Paul mentioned, you may have to wait for 15 minutes uh, just for the system to register. Uh, wait for 15, 20 minutes. And if it doesn't work, contact us. 99.9% .9 of the time, it works perfectly fine. 
I signed up for the event already. I'm already in. I will be attending all of the fun events, and I hope many of you will be joining us. So, again, thank you very much. I hope to see many of you uh, throughout the month at the festival. It'll be a busy month, but it'll be a lot of fun. Do join us. Thanks. Thank you very much, Mario. Uh, it's communications, uh, Peggy. I'll, I'll type it here for you. It's communications with an S, so it's communications at pada.org. Uh, or you can just email me directly. It's paul, P A U L, at pada.org. Maybe a lot easier and shorter. Um, so that, that's it. That's uh, all for us for today. Um, I hope you do join us. As I said, why not? It is free. So <laughs> register today, join the community, uh, get engaged, be inspired, and, uh, and hopefully we, uh, we can dream to travel and make that reality fairly soon. So thank you very much and hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Any other questions, feel free to contact us and reach out to us. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.